Today, we're going to be adding engines to the Ultimate Vacation Yacht. So let's get started. All right, so let's figure out where our actual engine bay in this thing should be at. So we're going to turn on symmetry. All these weight blocks back here were to basically reenact the weight of the engine. So we're, we can delete these now since we're going to be adding those today. So we're just going to delete all those. And then what I'm going to do is probably block this area back here completely off. This will be like a storage area. Um, That's normally a thing in real boats in real life. So that's a storage area back here. And then this area right up here would probably be like the area where the main engines are at. But now we need to figure out how big our engines will actually be um that's going to be the interesting part here so let me clear like as much as the ceiling as possible so i can like know how much room we have so i'm thinking just for now right where this wall starts we would have it block off straight into the engine room i think that would work and i'm kind of thinking we're going to do a one by one modular engine today instead of the three by threes the three by threes i just haven't had that good of luck with um from the fishing boat and some other ones so let's continue this so let's um, actually get rid of these weight blocks here since the weight of the engine will be back here all right great and i'm thinking we're gonna have just one engine on both sides so we're gonna have one engine on this side and one engine on this side so let's go ahead and search up modular here and start building the cylinders so first thing we need is the crankshaft of course oh yeah and before we actually start building the engine here we need to figure out which level we're actually going to be walking on so let's just make some floors here and see which floor we can best look out of that window on so we're going to do two like that maybe a third one just like this because we need to remember this thing needs a fuel tank somewhere and we cannot have it just like be wherever so we need to figure this out real quick all right so i would say this middle level right here probably sees out the window the best these other layers right here and we're just going to completely fill everything up with the blocks we did here so let's just completely fill that up we have to delete this one block up here to fill in the main hall all right so as you can tell there's a whole bunch of room under that which is where we'll put like some of our bilge pumps and some other stuff at so we're just filling this up right now this is where the engine room will be in this room right here i'm pretty sure Ooh, that's really tight oh gosh you know it, it'll work we'll figure something out actually or we can have it go down like we did in the fishing boat okay you know what we might do that definitely gonna do that okay so what we're gonna do here for the actual entrance of the engine room we're gonna fill we're gonna fill both of those blocks up it's a very tight passage weight right there um we're going to delete all these blocks in here and all right so we have a staircase going down what we're going to do is actually add an airlock door right here this is very important so we're going to delete those blocks right there so the door can actually fit we're going to grab ourselves a door and do we want it to be a sliding door i think we're going to have it be hinged just because we cannot open the electrical doors if we don't have electricity so engine room is important for that all right the door will open going inside of the engine room i think that's how you normally do it and there we go now we have an entrance for the engine room and it is on like the lowest part of the ship right here so we should start on these engines now all right so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna grab this crankshaft here and just completely line it all the way across that's not gonna be how many cylinders we're gonna have so we're gonna make some room on both sides here just like that i'm thinking 16 cylinders on each engine so we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a cylinder and count this so one two three four five six seven eight perfect so you know what we're gonna scoot this up one block so we're gonna put that one there and delete that all right so let's go ahead and place some cylinders i think we're gonna have it be a completely flat engine i mean that would work better for like cooling and everything so we're probably just gonna do that for now so we're just gonna place all of our cylinders here this is a crazy engine guys this should definitely power this thing if it doesn't i don't know what will honestly this that'd be pretty concerning but all right now that that's done let's go ahead and search up modular up oh, we already did so we're gonna grab ourselves a engine belt now um this will be a one by one engine belt on the front of the engine here we're gonna grab ourselves two starters we're gonna place these on both sides and i did not turn on symmetry so we're gonna place the starter on that side just like that and then one on this side then we're gonna grab an alternator and these will spin the actual engine belt and it will or it won't spin it the engine will but it'll get electricity from the spinning engine belt all right so then on the back of this engine here we actually need to grab a clutch for a one by one just like that and then maybe even a flywheel i never really use them i'm pretty sure you just put it there but um i don't really know we'll probably figure that out i'm thinking you do a flywheel there and then a clutch there i have no clue so let's grab a modular manifold and we have to wrap this and connect the two cylinders so what we're gonna do next is actually grab an exhaust manifold and this will pump out our exhaust so actually we're gonna have this go straight up here so it'll go straight vertical and this will pump it out below the boat i'm pretty sure i think we want it to be like that so symmetry is on below the boat and then we'll just make a line going straight through here and it will pump it out so let's just put it like right there would that work nope that's at an angle we'll have to do it i'm um, probably we'll just do right there since that's like the lowest point but all right let's go ahead and line the pipes so we're gonna grab some pipes here we're gonna make them the gray color we had in our actual last boat there so gray pipe will go straight down to what is it um this thing down here and we're gonna grab ourselves a fluid port so it can actually pump out our exhaust so we'll do something just like that perfect and we're going to line the pipe straight into it so we have to grab a curvy pipe now and it will actually turn it straight into the fluid port just like that perfect now we have exhaust done um let's probably block this area off from our actual little engine room all right so we have exhaust done and now we need air and fuel so next thing we're gonna do is air 
air. Of course, an engine needs air. So we're going to turn on symmetry again and grab ourselves an air manifold and just turn it directly to the um, left here. That'll go that way. And where should this air manifold lead? I'm thinking somewhere up here. That's kind of like the highest point of the boat right now. So it would probably lead somewhere like up here somewhere. Okay, that would work. So now we have to kind of line the pipe all throughout our boat. Oh, I really don't like doing these processes. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our gray pipe and just line it all the way through our boat now. There we go. We got the pipe led all the way up and now we're going to go up here and grab ourselves an air filter and this is where we will grab our actual air from. You're going to want that at the highest point of the boat. Next up is fuel. All right, where should we put our fuel at? Um, let's go ahead and grab another manifold here. So this manifold will be our fuel manifold. The fuel manifold's right there. Perfect. And we're just going to line this straight back into our actual um, area here. So where does this go? We'll just line it straight into there and then we'll have it go down because, oh, I forgot to connect some piping here. Okay, why don't we do that real quick? Just like that. All right, so fuel will go straight into the bottom of the boat right here. So it will be this big fuel tank down here. All right, so we're just going to block that off just like that. Awesome. So now we have our fuel tank down here. Um, I don't know if this is all going to be the fuel tank, of course. We're going to have to figure that out real quick. Um, I don't know. Should we have it all be our fuel tank here? Why don't we block it off till about where? Um, We'll do like right here. All right, so that's a pretty big fuel tank. I don't know if it'll be enough, though. I think our fishing boat uh, fuel tank is actually much bigger. Actually, what I think we're going to do for the fuel tank is instead of having it be like up here, um, I want an active stabilizer up here. So I think we would have it be just completely back here. Let's just spawn it in and test if we can actually even have that entire area be filled with fuel and actually float properly because that's a ton of weight back there. So we're going to grab ourselves a fluid spawner and this will spawn fuel in our fuel tank. So fluid spawner and we'll just place this back here. Diesel on 100% and I don't think we have any leaks anywhere. So I think we're good for that. So let's spawn it in and test it. Um, hopefully that's not too much weight to the back. Oh, it definitely might be though. Okay, it's starting to lean. That's actually not bad at all. Um, I'm not, I don't think that's actually even bad. Um, I think we're good for that. And I just got rid of some more weight blocks actually in the engine room or in the fuel tank. Um, so let's see how good this thing floats now. It's actually floating towards the front, which is quite interesting. Um, okay, that's fine. But yeah, we could definitely have our fuel tank be back here. That wasn't really my original plan, but honestly, it might just have to do. And maybe um, we could have like an auxiliary fuel tank somewhere. I have no idea, but let's just start building the engine here. All right, so since we're turning fuel around, we're just going to completely delete that and grab ourselves a brand new fuel manifold. And we're going to bring this fuel manifold straight into, actually, we're going to do it under here, like same with the exhaust. So it can kind of like not get in the way of anything directly into our fuel tank. So let's grab some pipes and just drag it straight in there and a fluid port to, of course, get the um, fuel out of there. And we're just going to copy that one just like that. Perfect. Now we have fuel air and exhaust all right what else does an engine need a microcontroller so let's grab ourselves the ze modular engine microcontroller this is the best microcontroller for this i'm pretty sure um there's definitely there's probably some better ones but of course we're just gonna be using this one for now so i noticed here let's spawn it in i'm gonna show you guys when i walk in here it's like i can barely even look out the windows or like see anything above it so i feel like we need to rise the windows one block and that's exactly what we're gonna do we got them copied we're just gonna lift it up one block and paste it there perfect done that's all we have to do not really actually we have to fill up all these blocks down here same with these and that's basically it though but then we also have to fix the um ceiling here that's gonna be the interesting part all right so something like that should do i think that'll work it looks exactly basically how it looked last time except now it's all one block up great all right so now we need to grab our actual helm here and we're gonna start adding buttons once again this is just a fake helm let's go ahead and grab a key button here and a throttle so let's grab ourselves a throttle and that's all we need to actually drive this thing pretty simple simple enough so we're just going to connect all this um so we're going to connect starter to all of this so on and off and i have to connect a whole bunch of more stuff guys i'm just kind of doing this um first i don't know why so throttle will go to throttle desired rps and crankshaft rps go to this one over here goes left to right perfect starters on both engines we're just going to do this engine for now fuel manifold was the one where was the fuel manifold oh yeah this is back there somewhere and then the air manifold was right there and i think we got everything connected and not to do the next one. All right, so we have that done, but now we need actual cooling for this engine. This is where things get interesting. Not really. Um, cooling's normally pretty easy if we're using seawater here. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some coolant um, manifolds here. So coolant manifold, just like that. This is normally the um, hard parts and very annoying part too, matter of fact. So we're going to grab ourselves some 
manifolds and we're just gonna put like some all the way right here we'll just do this one for now so let's grab ourselves a pump and we need to pump it in and also pump it out so we're gonna do pump in right there um wait what side is that uh fluid a so this will be the cold water coming in so we want the actual pump to be like right there perfect and then what is this side i think it's fluid b so this is where the hot side comes out at so we're going to do something like this here so that should be fluid out perfect and can we do another one of those that's going to be the interesting part all right another one i don't think we can actually oh no that's actually really bad you know we might have to do something here we have to move the entire engine one block to the inside um that's just because we don't have enough room for cooling and cooling is more important than um like some other stuff here so we're just going to move everything over one block hopefully this doesn't affect anything crazy here i don't think it will oh gosh so we're going to cut this engine out cut it just like that do i have everything i hope i do and we're gonna move it over at one block so now we have room over here for cooling or i hope we do at least all right we have fuel air and exhaust all reconnected here so why don't we start on this again can we have another one um i really don't think we can fit no we definitely can't all right so we're gonna try doing another one on this side though i'm pretty sure we can do another one on this side so we'll do one right there and then we'll just copy the same thing we had that's fluid a so that's the uh, um cold water from the ocean so we'll put that there and this will pump it out nope wrong way oh my god okay that would pump it into the engine and then this side we will have the um outer side like pump it out so something like that perfect all right so now we have cooling kind of on both engines we still need to connect absolutely everything um this is going to be very interesting just because i don't know like how i don't know if this is going to cool the engines like at all to be honest it's not really a lot of cooling um i mean i think it'll be fine but um our fishing boat engine overheated and it had six of these cooling units on the one engine we only had one engine so we had six of these big large pumps on both of them can we put the cooling manifold right there oh we can't oh good gosh okay so what we're gonna have to do for that just have it turn right there and we're also gonna have to have this one turn to the um side here just so we can actually get some fluid so right here will be fine yep all right perfect we're going to have this pipe go straight into the ocean there and then we have to do the same thing on this side i got symmetry on which is probably awesome all right so now we have all of our um ports that we actually need to put here so we're gonna do all the ports just like that perfect so now we should have cooling um hopefully this works let's see anything else we need to add for cooling can we even add another one if i wanted to oh gosh i don't know you know what i think we could but it's going to be very 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 close so what we're going to do is put that there and we're going to grab ourselves some pumps and these pumps are going to turn um we're not going to be able to do large pumps either so it's going to be a little bit less pressure in this actual um coolant pump here so we're going to grab ourselves coolant b so that will be the actual hot water coming out so we want to pump that side out and then pump this side in which we can't because there's a pipe in the way okay um um, we'll have to have it turn this way perfect and you know what that also wouldn't work so what we're gonna have to do is just have it go straight this way and it will kind of come at an angle here and this will pump it directly in from there and then this will go the actual opposite way perfect all right this is kind of coming together and then since we are doing this as cooling we'll just have it go straight um probably down here so we're gonna have it kind of go down there curve up and then come back down right there i think this is uh i think that would work perfect all right it barely even fits in the actual project there but there we go we have another cooling but now we need to connect to this side of course so connect this side to the straight ocean which is who knows where so for this to connect we're gonna have to bring it directly like that and straight under our actual thing that we were just doing there oh this is super like so many pipes guys there's just way too many pipes all right it's fine though it's all that matters is that we have a working cooling system so we'll just do something like that all right a whole bunch of pipes for cooling um hopefully they don't suck up each other's water because that would definitely not work i mean if we're moving it should be fine but all right now that we got that done oh gosh okay so now we need to actually add the um key button will activate all these pumps we're gonna have a different button that'll activate the pumps in the future here but you know this will work for now um we're gonna see how good these engines can actually do um let's see if they actually even start and if they do we're not gonna move at all because we don't have anything actually connected here so we need a propeller all right so where should we put this propeller at let's go ahead and search up propeller here and we're gonna use a large one right maybe a large one maybe two large ones for separate engines i think we should maybe do that all right i think something like that would work and then we're going to have it just run straight through the entire fuel tank here straight into there so simple enough hopefully um we don't lose a whole lot of fuel for doing that so we're gonna not use enclosed pipes for this entire thing so we're gonna use these pipes so as much fuel as we can and i think that's all we really have to do and we 
we need to actually add a throttle for our clutch or should we add the auto clutch right now we're gonna add the auto clutch that's just much easier all right there we go we have both of our clutches connected um we're gonna have to use infinite electric for this to even work because we don't have our battery set up systems video will be doing that i'm pretty sure so let's start the engine will it start rps is at 1.83 it's sh it should be at three um i said it to be at three. Oh wait it's restarting what just happened why is it not working um i think there's something wrong here is, did i not connect something i might have not oh yes i didn't connect something this is very important so i forgot to connect the actual cylinders together so up here you have to make something like this i don't know why i'm making it red but it kind of makes it look cool like when it's red all right we're gonna do something like that now it should start here we go um it's at three rps perfect that's exactly where we need it everything's looking good let's start throttling up here let's see if we can even drive i really doubt it here we go um oh wait we're spinning oh my gosh guys was that it i'm actually surprised we definitely need some catalytic converters because that's insane um pollution wise okay so we're on full throttle we are going very slow we have no customizations to the engine though so it is going pretty slow obviously let's see um it is running at what rps 10 oh yeah that's really bad okay so we're gonna have to add like some turbochargers or something to this thing and that's probably what we're gonna do okay so i'm pretty sure this is fluid out and then fluid in is on the top there so we're just gonna kind of divert the course of that pipe right there to be fluid out or wait was that fluid in right oh my gosh i didn't remember um fluid in yes so now this is the rps one down here so we're gonna grab ourselves a motor and this a little electric motor right here will be activated whenever we're driving so for that to work we need a switch box i spelled switch box wrong all right switch box and we will place this right here this is not our logic room by the way so switch value will go to our electric motor let's grab a constant number too because we need to like actually say the throttle so let's put that there and then when this is at one so number one it'll put the thing on full throttle when it's on see it says on and then when it's off it'll be at zero and then the switch value will be on this key button right there so we're just gonna connect that to everything all right of course now we need to test this out see if it goes any faster actually before we do we need to grab a linear speed sensor and we're just gonna place this probably like right here somewhere there all right great also i have no idea what's going on with our fencing on the right side i don't know why it's xml so it's really weird all right so we're gonna start this up we are gonna go really fast all right here we go we're starting to move our actual little rescue boat that we built goes around 15 so let's see how good this goes it's definitely a little bit faster i can tell it's a little bit um but we're still going quite slow let's go down there and actually look at some of our rps and stuff all right so 12 rps we are definitely pretty slow here air is on max oh gosh do we need more air we might exhaust is also kind of blinking on and off for one here let's go on here see what's going on all right so we're also going to add a fuel pump so we can like you know pump the fuel into the engine so we're going to delete some blocks grab ourselves a pump and i think we're gonna have to like put this upside down for this to even work so but it's something like this maybe and then click i to like rotate it under there um great um fluid out perfect so we'll just connect this all up um this is going to use an insane amount of electric but that'll be fine we'll have a generator somewhere all right let's test it now we're maxing out at around 10 or something so let's go test this again start it full throttle here we go um it's also because of the flywheels i don't even use those and it's probably not necessary all right we're back up and running let's see how we do okay it's a tad bit faster i can tell we're going 11 okay um a whole whatever that is faster one okay that's not bad um let's see what's going on down here i'm guessing it's an air issue it's always an air issue yep air is always on max okay so we need to maybe add more air but we're running at 18 rps now that's much better than we were um beforehand all right so you can probably tell it's going a little bit faster um i added a lot more cylinders so i'm thinking so we have 16 plus 8 cylinders it's quite a bit but um it's good i don't know how good our fuel consumption is it's probably terrible but our cooling on the other hand is very good like it's at 40 it's been at 43 for probably like 20 seconds now which means it's going up very slow so cooling's not an issue but all right now i want to test something real quick instead of using an electric engine actually how about we save this probably before we do that oh yeah i also added some more air intakes on the side here those are not permanent okay so instead of having an electric engine we will have it be powered by our actual engine itself um normally this completely like messes up the engine and like kind of makes it go much slower but hopefully since this is a kind of a different engine i'm 
kind of building today, it'll maybe work. Um, we're going to see though. All right, I'm kind of expecting the worst at this point. Here we go. Um, infinite electric or infinite fuels off. Okay. Uh, we're going slower. I can just feel. Oh, actually, yeah, I think we're going slower. Okay. So we're going 13.4 with that on. Let's go spawn it in again with the normal one. And we're going to see like what difference it is. So 13.4 on that one. Now we're going to full throttle this one and see how much it is. All right, here we go. We are having two yachts side by side. Of course, the best looking 13.4. Yep, this one's higher. So, yep, electric is the way to go for the impeller pump. But if we go ahead and turn on infinite fuel, this thing really picks up some speed here. So it goes to like 24, 25, which is insane. Actually, that's really fast. But I kind of want it to go that speed. It's really good. And I also think we're running at max RPS here. So this engine on infinite fuel can go much higher. So I really don't know what to add to this engine to make it go faster i have like four air intakes one supercharged um we have one fuel which might also be an issue but that also has a pump on it and fuel isn't on one like fuel isn't on max on this manifold here so it's an air issue still i'm th i think that's how it works at least so if air is on one we want more air um we have a lot of air so i don't really know what's going on with that but um please let me know in the comments if you are good with engines in this game but all right all that matters is that we have a working engine now we can pick up some decent speeds actually this isn't bad at all for a yacht um that's actually pretty quick for this type of thing but on full throttle i want to go a little bit faster you know but that's probably going to be it for this video of course i'll do some like engine tuning to this thing it will be faster it's gonna be faster than 14.4 whatever it's a little bit slow right now but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye